I do also feel like this is gonna look terrible at the same time. I mean, they're not purposefully distressed. They're just old. Struggling. Okay, oh, sly. 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 Hold on. Sly. Hi guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you how I pick out an outfit. First of all, when I'm picking out an outfit, I'm normally gonna center it around one piece. That's either gonna be a statement piece. This will serve as like my main piece of the outfit. And also because I'm a big shopper, this could be a piece I've been waiting to wear that I just bought because we all buy pieces and we wanna wear them like right away. I mean, I know I do at least. Or it's gonna be like a pattern piece. So let's jump into the demonstration. Okay, so this might not be everyone's definition of a statement piece, but I got this set from Princess Polly. It's like a suit set with like a tube top and then a trouser. I think this is a statement piece wearing anything that's like monochromatic and like one. I've worn this a lot since I've bought it. It fits me like very, very well. It's very, very tailored to my body. I got like a small size, so it really cinches me in, which is nice. Okay, normally when I wear this outfit, I wear it with like a fitted leather jacket. Let me put it on and show you. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, it took forever to get this on right now. My mic and everything. Okay, let me lower you. So I keep this one with one of the buttons unbuttoned because I think it just fits my body shape better. And when I was wearing this, I wore this to the wedding that I just went to. I wore this like a fitted leather jacket that I thrifted because I like how fitted this silhouette is. It's very slim to my body, which gives me, it kind of gives the illusion that I look taller. I feel like this jacket like looks okay. Like this is like kind of the ideal jacket to wear with it. I mean like ideally if you're wearing something that like it's not super intricate, I think going without the jacket is clearly gonna look best. But because it is so fitted, I feel like I could juxtapose this with like a bigger, baggier jacket. I do also feel like this is gonna look terrible at the same time. I mean, yeah, this is like, this is giving. This is giving something. I feel like also because it's like gray and it's cool tone, I'm only gonna pair this with like cool tone colors. I feel like that's just not doing it though. I have like a denim jacket. Oh, is this the right one? Oh yeah, this is kind of like a baggier denim jacket. And I would wear this like off the shoulder-ish. Realistically, if I'm wearing this, I'm going to be wearing it without a jacket. And like when I was at the wedding, I was like telling everyone, they were like, aren't you cold? And I was like, yes. I'm not gonna compromise the fit because like it just objectively looks best with some skin because it's like a full coverage type of thing, like the upper body skin. I don't wanna like put a jacket on and like compromise that and take that away. And for shoes, I did wear it with my classic black slingbacks. These are a little bit uncomfortable if you wear it for a long time because my pinky toe was like smashing into it but cute i think with the wide leg it looks really cute just like popping out i don't know if you could see but yeah wore with the slingbacks thought that looked really cute and since it's kind of like a fitted silhouette i think this does look best with just like a little shoulder bag they keep my waistline like where it is i think that looks the cutest and it pairs the best but if this was like, if it was cooler, cause it's like basically winter right now. So I really can't get away with wearing not pants unless I'm trying to be freezing. I would definitely pair this with like a black mini skirt. I think that'd be really cute. Let me try that. I'm gonna put on some black distressed tights also. I mean, they're not purposefully distressed. They're just old. Let me try that. I'm struggling. Oh my gosh, these tights aren't even distressed. I didn't even know I had a pair of non-distressed tights. Okay, black mini skirt. Okay, slay, slay. Hold on, slay, oh my gosh. Okay, these these tights aren't even distressed. Like how do I own a pair of non-distressed tights? First of all, that's fucking insane. Cause I like nick all of my tights, but it's so cute. Maybe I'll try putting this one up. I'm obsessed. Okay, so because I have like a low coverage type of outfit, right? I'm only kind of covering just, just what I need to, really. I'm going to go for a higher coverage shoe. Okay, I feel like these boots are gonna be so cute. I need to put on some socks though because we like a boot with like a sock moment popping out. I think that would be really cute. Feels like we're just hanging out, doesn't it? You're just helping me pick my outfit. Okay, yeah, a higher sock. These boots are kind of a bitch to get on. They're Chelsea boots from Nasty Cow. They're like genuine leather and they're on sale. I haven't worn them in forever because, you know, I prioritize walking. Okay, oh, come on. It's easier if I can sit down. I'm doing this just for you. These shoes are so dusty right now. Sly. I feel like now I could, I have to raise my camera because I'm too tall now. Okay, now to bring back the leather, I could pair this with a leather jacket. Also because, because the outfit as, as a whole is like a little bit more low coverage, I feel like I could get away with the jacket and it looks much better now. And I do like to wear the jacket like a little bit off my shoulders. You know me. So cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. I'm obsessed with this outfit. So cute. Okay, honestly just cuter without the jacket. I haven't worn tights in like forever too and it's like so adorable. So into it, probably shoulder back. Yes. 
amazing, obsessed. So cute, okay, this is the first outfit. This is my statement piece outfit. So you could tell I really centered the outfit around just this top. I'm too tall and like squatty. I really centered the outfit just around this top and I think it's so cute. I think it even looks good on buttoning that one. I think I actually like it better buttoning this because the skirt is so short, it gives like a little bit of a long torso look. I don't even normally go for like a boo because I am a lazy girl. Boo is so cute. So cute, okay, okay, next outfit. Okay. Don't mind me jumping around in this video. I'm wearing the next outfit, but we're going on to the second outfit now. So I have these white pair of trousers from Love Bonito, and I want to style these. And I will see if they're wrong, but yeah. I, it was too late to return them. So I hem them, I made them fit me, and now I'm gonna try to make an outfit out of them. I think one easy way to look really chic is to... Let me take off my boots. One way to look really chic instantly is to wear a monochromatic outfit. So that's what I'm gonna do, because I'm kind of feeling like an easy look. Just something simple to put together, but still would slay. I'm also gonna pair it with a white vest. I mean, this white vest from Princess Polly, I'm doing a terrible job showing you. I'm just gonna put it on and show you, so I'll be right back and I'll show you that. A little uncertain about the trousers, because they are like a little bit see-through, but I don't think they're that bad. I look like I'm sent from heaven above. I think, I think I could get away with a thick band of the trousers because I don't have like a short torso. I have like a pretty normal sized torso. So I think it like looks okay. I'm settling. It's too late to return them. So I'm settling. I'm just trying to make do, really. Let me know what you guys think about them down below though. They're, it's like, it's just like a little sheer, truly. It's like a little sheer for my liking. But yeah, this is vest though. I will say I settle on this vest as well. I do have to pull it down. I don't even know what that means in terms of the construction, but I do find myself pulling it down quite often. So not the best, but you know. It's really cute and everything else is perfect. It even has this like little adjustment, adjust thing here, which is really handy because it just you in, which I like clearly. I feel like wearing like a monochromatic look is a really easy way to look just like really chic. Very simple too. It's like you put a lot of effort, but you really did not, right? I love it. And because it's like fall winter time now, I'm gonna be wearing a coat that I just thrifted. So I feel like, okay, so this is a brown coat. And like, it's just like not as harsh of a juxtaposition and like a contrast between the white and black. Like if I were doing white and black, it'd look kind of more like color blocking, but I think the brown looks really good. And I think because the outfit is really fitted, we could go for like a longer coat and it looks really cute. It's light. And like, ideally I would have brown shoes to pair with this, but I just don't. I do not own brown shoes. So I'm going to pair, I'm gonna be pairing my classic black loafers with these. And then in order for their cohesion to look good, probably just a black shoulder bag. Honestly, I think a bigger black bag would look cuter with this. Let me try this. Yeah, I think a bigger black bag looks better with this because the coat is so big. But yeah, best outfit. Well, first, I'm wearing socks. I know it looks stupid, but you know, I'm just changing into many outfits right now, so just bear with me. I think I would only wear something like a black shoe with a brown coat if I was wearing a black bag because the visual cohesion, it makes a big difference in outfits. I think it just looks way better that way. So this is the outfit. Trying not to cover it like if you could tell. Yeah, normally I wouldn't wear a bag this big because I'm so small, but you know. I think if I was going more casual, I could totally pair this with a denim jacket. Because it's more fitted, I'll go for a fitted cropped denim jacket. I think like, you know, America with these colors, but I think this looks really good too. Anyway, that's this outfit. So let's go on to the next one. For the next outfit, I'm going to keep the tights and the boots on. I know this is out of order because this is the last outfit now, but I want to show you this outfit while I still have some of the pieces on. But I'm going to change into a flared skirt. This is a workout skirt. I'm going to change into that. And then I have this black and white punk rock tube top. I mean, I love a strapless, as you can tell. Let me change into that. And then I'll show you. I have the outfit all now. I love it. With these boots too. They're so cute. And like the tights, it's, I, I swear though, the thing is I did not have a pair of non-ripped tights. And the fact that these are non-ripped, like that is some Mandela effect because I, I literally swear I did not have a pair of non-ripped tights. But because the tube top is so fitted, I wanted to juxtapose it with like a flared skirt. I think this one looks so cute. Not too long, so it makes me look tall plus the shoes, clearly. But even, I would even wear these. I'd probably take the tights off if I were to pair it this way, but I, I would even wear it with like high top Converse with the socks peeking out or like a white crew sock and like white Reeboks. I have them here, let me show you. I think even these for like a sportier look would look really good. I would take off the tights if I were wearing a white shoe, but it would tie back in with the white of the top. That would look really cute. Okay, as for a jacket, I feel like we could go kind of many ways with this. Oh, this is two jackets. Okay, initially my first thought was to pair the red jacket and make it like a little bit punk rock. I mean like, I love red. I've been just wearing red like as red purses recently. I mean, this is so cute. I feel like this is the one. This is the outfit. I mean like there's a lot of variations you could do. I think this would look really cute with Converse because the pop of the white and the Converse would match the top and I think that'd be so cute. I'm obsessed. I mean, so cute. I think like the pop of red, like it really makes a big difference in this outfit. Obsessed, okay, okay, okay. Let me do my outro. 
Okay guys, those are all my outfits. That was you picking out outfits with me. I hope you had fun and enjoyed and it helps me pick out my outfit for today. I'm gonna go for the first outfit. So thank you for helping me. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel because it lets me know that I'm making the right contact for you guys. And if you have any suggestions, leave them down below because I would love to take your suggestion. And I will see you guys in my next video in a few weeks. So I will see you then. Thank you.